What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Junior's World of Soul. I am back with a new video. As y'all can hear, I came in with Normani's Take My Time. Now, I know when y'all hear that song, Take My Time, y'all like, JR, you have taken your time coming back and doing a new video. Look, y'all, I am so sorry. Listen, life has been lifing. You know what I mean? I've really, really been into putting my all into R&B reps with my partner in crime, Natalie Elise. Like, the things we have been doing with that channel, y'all, we have reached a thousand subscribers. And now we're over a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. Amazing. You know, we're getting more looks and everything. And, and it's like we've been putting all the, you know, our time into that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I've been wanting to do, you know, some shows on this side, but I also have a brand with the RB reps and we're trying to build. So if you guys can go over to the RB reps on, on Twitter and Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, all that, and subscribe to us. It will be so good because we're putting out everything into this. But y'all know JR's World of Soul is all about JR, and this is my platform. And I was like, I cannot forget about the subscribers that have been rocking with me from the beginning. So y'all, I am back in effect. I ain't going nowhere. I know it's been a minute, but I am back, y'all. So listen, let's get into this video because I don't want to keep you guys too long, for real, for real. But listen, if you're new to Junior's World of Soul, this channel is all about just showing the love of R&B that is here. It ain't going nowhere. That all R&B shit is dead is stupid and it's dumb you know what i mean so at the end of the day y'all i am so glad to be back in front of this camera i am so hyped but as y'all can see what the title is it's all about current army bangers now if you're new to junior's world of soul current army bangers is all about just showing again that the songs is out there it sucks that we have to look for it but i'm glad that i have a platform that i've been doing since 2015 and it's been all about you know giving our classic artists, you know, more of a platform, our new artists, indie artists, and all that good stuff. And it seems like this year, we've been getting a lot of music, y'all. I mean, a lot. You know what I mean? So I was like, yo, I got to come back. I'm going to come back a little, you know, I'm going to come back with a little bit of stuff, you know what I mean? And give y'all a couple of bangers, but y'all know what it is. So let's get into this, y'all. I got three joints for y'all today. So we're going to get it started, and we're going to start it with this right here. Here we go. Hey. All right. All right. Hey. Uh. Uh, all right, all right. Hey, hey. So this jam right here is from Victoria Monet. You know what I mean? But who produced this? K. Chinata. Now, if you here and you, you know, been rocking with JR's Roller Soul for the longest, y'all know I've been rocking with K. Chinata from the beginning. I've been a fan of this dude since 2013. You know what I mean? And I've been like saying like he's the producer that adds you know, soul to his production, but it's dance and it's all that. And I was like, yo, when he was working with Jasmine Sullivan, he was working with Mary, he was working with so many people. I was like, y'all, he's the new producer that y'all should be paying attention to. You know what I mean? But it's just like, I'm just a fan of him. You know what I mean? So um, he just released this new album that he came out with entitled Timeless. And y'all, I'm I'm hyped for it. I love it. I when I first played it, I was like, yo, this album is the truth. It's really a continuation of what Bubba did, to be honest with you. And you know, he got joints uh call you up with uh um uh Lou Fell. He got weird with Duran Bernard. Their chemistry is nuts. You know what I mean? Um video, he got hold on with Dawn Rasad or Riches or whatever y'all want to pronounce it is. He's back with Tanache. He got a drunk with her. Do it uh to me with Anderson Pack is dope and Witchy with uh Childish Gambino. Like this album is so dope. Ever since I'm been listening to it, I haven't stopped. You know what I mean? And it's such such a dope joint. But the song that I kept kept rocking with, and I was like, yo. I cannot stop playing this joint. 
is actually the second song after the intro. Like, I was like, Kay Trinata, how can you start a record like this? You know what I mean? Like, how can you start it just, we going off the break, y'all. And this joint is entitled Spit It Out. And it's with uh, Rochelle Jordan. And this joint knocks. So when I was like, I'm coming back to do current R&B bangers, I was like, this joint I have to talk about. So here's the first joint on current R&B bangers. This is from K. Trinata. And here is Spit It Out. Y'all going to jam to this joint. I'm telling y'all. And, and Will, here we go. Hey! Woo! Spit it out, 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 spit it out. Hey, hey, ah, hey! Come on, y'all. He starts with the intro, and then he goes into this. It was like K. Trinados was letting you know, like. If y'all thought Bubble was something, I'm not playing with Timeless, y'all. So, y'all, please go support this, y'all. Support K. Trinata. This dude is dope. He ain't, like, he's coming with it. You know what I'm saying? You see the joint he did with Victoria Monet with All Right, which is killing right now, which she just completely owned the EBT Awards. Yeah, that's what I said. And uh, she just completely ate it. But K. Trinata's production is just amazing, y'all. But this joint spit it out as a banger and I had to talk about it. So y'all go support Timeless. But the first joint on current army bangers is coming from K. Trinata and, and uh, Rochelle Jordan. And that joint is entitled Spit It Out. Alrighty. Keep this going. Uh, like I said, I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. I'm not. Here we go. Just to make it feel like home. Hey. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about my guy, Lucky Day. Like, I have been a fan of this dude since 2018 when he came out with Roll Some More. And then he had his EPs that he entitled uh, One and then Two. And then he came out with Painted. And I have been, like, if you have been watching Curl R&B Bangers in 2020, I talked about so many songs on, on that album. Even when he put out the deluxe version, I talked about songs from that. Painted is a dope, dope album. Shout out to my brother Neltron. Me and my brother Sin, who I talk about all the time on here, you know, really got him into listening to Painted. And he has not been able to get away from it. That's how dope Painted it is. It's so, so dope, y'all. I talked about Roll Some More. I talked about Try Your Fire. I talked about um, Concentrate. I talked about Karma. I talked about, then he came with the Deluxe with Buying Time. And all like that album is dope. Then, y'all, he came out with Candy Dread. And that was an album that I wasn't really, really happy with as a fan. You know what I mean? I saw where he was going artistically, but for me, I was just like, uh, I was I was just like, uh. So then he came with this joint. He came out with That's You. And I was like, okay, this is what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? I was like, this is the lucky day that I'm vibing with. You know what I mean? So he was saying he was coming out with a new album, Algorithm. And it was like after um, after uh, 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 Candy Drip, I was a little worried. But then he also came out with the, a duet album, too, which I thought was dope. You know what I mean? And then he was just starting to work with everybody. He worked with Mary. He worked with so many people. So I was like, okay, Lucky Day is all right with me. Maybe Candy Drip wasn't for me, and it might have been for other people, but it just wasn't for me. You know what I mean? But then he came out with Algorithm, y'all, and I have not stopped playing this joint. I have not. I've been playing it every day. My favorites on it right now is um, Hurricane, Soft, Pen, Algorithm, Mary, um, uh, uh, Lemonade, and uh, Never Leaving You Lonely. Like, that's how he opens it with that. Never Leave You Lonely. Like, he opens it with that joint. Like, he's not playing. 
But you know the song on this album that I kept playing over and over. Catch it. Um, this song entitled Top. And Top is so dope to me because when it first starts, it gives you that 80s kind of Cindy Lauper time after time beginning to me. And it, it, it kind of brings me in. And then the beat comes in. And I was just like, <gasps> and I kept playing this song over and over and over again. And I said again. When I do current R&B bangers, this is one of the songs that I definitely want to talk about. So the second joint of current R&B bangers coming from Lucky Day, and this joint is entitled Top. And uh, this is a banger, y'all. But you got it because I can't play the whole thing. But the first beginning, like the first maybe 25 seconds, let me know in the comments that like it really gives you that 80s feel for real, for real. So here we go. Bottom. Ah, like yo, it's it's so 80s, but still current. And him and D Mile for real, like D Mile is that dude. Shout out to D Mile, cause he doesn't work with so many people and gave them amazing, amazing projects like Victoria Monet, uh, India Sean, um, uh, what, uh, what's the current name? Oh my God. Uh, her name is on the tip of my tongue. Oh my God. Don't be mad. Y'all is it on the tip of my tongue. Um, and, and, oh God. And she had a, but yeah, I'll put it in the comment section, but, but he's worked with all these artists and gave them dope, albums y'all and in D Mile and 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 Lucky Day just have a chemistry man and ever since Roll Some More they've been on it you know what I mean so yo like please y'all go listen to algorithm you will not be disappointed it's a no skip for me like no skip at all I was like he came back from for me for what he did with Candy Drip to Algorithm so y'all check that out but the second joint on current RB bangers is coming from Lucky Day, and this joint is entitled Top. All right. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. We're going to start this off because it's family time. It's family time. So here we go. <laughs> And I wouldn't want it any other way. I like it when you're rolling. Maybe you control it. Maybe when you're holding my hand. Sorry. <laughs> but I came with it. And that a part of it is with Darian Brockerton, D Brock, who I have been a fan of since 2008 when I heard him on Foreign Exchange take, take off the blues. Right. And I remember in college, um, I heard it and I was a fan of Fonte, fan of uh, Nicolay. But I was like, who is this other dude that's singing? Right. So obviously doing my research and all that, I find it is D-Rock. Right. And I'm like, all right, cool. So then I started doing my research on him. And then um, the project, some Somebody to Love, I played in college. It came out in 2006, but I got on it in 2008. And I played that in my dorm room. People could tell you I played that album out for real. And then in 2010, he came out with the uh, Cold Case Files, which my boy, you know, Deep Brock was a little angry. He was a little angry. You could feel it. You know what I'm saying? The emotions and all that good stuff. Stuff. But then fast forward, uh, I got to actually meet Darian and I was completely starstruck. Like I was completely starstruck. And thank God to my partner uh, <laughs> in crime, Elise. She kind of had to talk for me because I was such a fan. And if you see the picture of me and, uh, and Darian, I'm like laughing, but I'm still in shock because I was such a fan. And for me to tell him how much of a fan I was, is just so dope. You know what I'm saying? And from that moment, he became my bestie. So that Darian is my best friend now. So this is great. But, um, fine. You know, Darian hasn't been putting out any music, but when he got on Hold My Hand on Zoe and Tall Black Guys' Abstraction album, I was like, whoa, you got D-Rock? 
and you got Fonte and, and, and Musina on a record, I was like, whoa, okay. So then I got to see them do this live um, during the abstraction tour. And it was Darian, um, Deborah Bond, Fonte, tall black guy, and so on stage. One of the best moments ever. It was like magic, man. And the house lost it. Like everybody in the spot was just losing it. Like that's how dope it was. So it was like, I would always ask Darren, when you coming back? When you doing new music? Like when is it? And he like, you know, don't worry. You know, I've been working on some things and, you know, things like that. So then maybe about two weeks ago, this picture pops up and I'm like, Darren, you coming out with new music? Like, we coming. I was like, after 14 years, I was like, what? I was like, okay, I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. Where, where, where are we going with it? Well, y'all, he has released the album. The album is entitled Where Love Comes. It was um produced, it was really produced by Zoe, tall black guy, Fonte, the whole F.E. crew. But I have to say this about Zoe and tall black guy. What they have been doing for what they, you know, the albums that have been coming out, they have been executive, executive, executive produced. They have been doing the damn thing on Size album, um, Be My Fiasco's album, um, uh, their own album. And then what they just did with Darian, it was just like, yo, they are not playing, yo. And right now, they are all about the music, all the fame and all that. They are all about the music and you can feel it. So I have to shout out Zoe and Tall Black Guy. Like, y'all are doing it out here for real, for real. It's just it's just amazing. And the songs that they have done on this album, man, like, as a fan, even though I wanted it to be longer, Darian, I get it. But there's no bad song on this album. I didn't even know what song that I wanted to pick. You know what I mean? Because... He got Show You with Be My Fiasco on it. Um, Love Like This, Only One. He got Carmen Rogers. And everybody knows how much I love Carmen. Right? So it's like a family affair on their Fonte on the backgrounds, producing some joints. You know what I mean? But even though I love every song, it was just one song that I just kept playing over and over again. And this song is entitled Circles. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I couldn't stop playing this. I was like, okay, maybe this will be the one that I'll talk about on Current R&B Bangers. So here is the third joint. This is um, Circles, and this is by Darian Brockerton. So here we go. All right. Circles can't stop going round and round Broken down inside, buried deep in the house Found such a boring answer Said he tried to find out Enjoy your progress Ah! Like it, it got, it's it's so smooth, you know what I'm saying. But you got a little wine to it a little bit, you know what I'm saying. A little body roll, like the least body roll, you know what I'm saying. Like I was like, oh yeah, this joint is dope. And mind you, I was listening to this at like twelve thirty in the morning. Don't judge me, y'all. But the joint was dope, and I was just like, oh, Darren, as a fan, like. I'm happy with this project, man. Like, everybody I've been talking to is like, we want more, but he gave us just enough because there's no fillers on this. Like, you will enjoy the whole project. So, y'all, listen, go support this album. You will you will really, really enjoy Where Love Grows. I'm telling you, it's the number one album on iTunes right now. Like, really support this project. Support the whole FE crew, yo, because they just, it's all about the music with them, and it's nothing but the music, y'all. So, support them. Be My Fiasco, Fonte, Nicolay, Zoe, Tall Black Guy, Carmen, um, uh, Musina, Yazara, like, yo, support everybody, yo, from the FE crew, because they are so dope, you know what I mean? So, had to talk about that, 
Thank you, Darian. 14 years, and you back, brother. Thank you so much, besties. So, y'all, like I said, I didn't want to keep y'all too long. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. I got to kind of maneuver myself back into it. You know what I'm saying? So, I gave y'all actually four joints today. I gave y'all Numani, Take My Time. I gave you Kay Trinata and Rochelle Jordan with um, Spit It Out. I gave you um, uh, uh, Lucky Day with Top. And you got uh, Darian Brockerton with Circles. So, y'all, I am back. Current r Bangers is back in effect, y'all. We gonna do this. I'm being back weekly. All that good stuff. But please, y'all, go subscribe to the r Reps on YouTube. Please, y'all, you know, we've been doing the damn thing. Been giving y'all great content. Talk about great albums. Uh, the, uh, the latest episode is the Jody Watley episode that we did with Mr. Soul Effect, Rashad Ali. And it was really, really a good episode. Jody even showed us some love with it. She really enjoyed Enjoyed it. It's really a good episode. We just showing the impact that she made. You know what I mean? But yo, thank y'all. Thank y'all for being patient. Love y'all. But y'all know how we do. I'm gonna come in with the uh, a current record, but I'm gonna leave with a classic. This joint, 45 years ago, was number one on the R&B charts, and y'all gonna know it as soon as I play it for real. And um, I will see y'all next week. So here we go. <laughs> Ring my bell, ring, you can ring my bell, ring, ring my bell, ring-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling. I'm out y'all, peace.